Super Play Video 3, which is basically like an animatic kind of thing. Okay. And then we play video four. <coughs> and the videos will play all the videos. We're not just going to play a bit, we'll play all of them at the start of the end. Okay. <coughs> And then that is supposed to say that. <coughs> Can't show you that because it's... Oh, yeah. I can talk about the possibilities and the things that you never know what's going to happen until it actually happens, but, but I can't show anything because <coughs> if it's been recorded or going out anywhere, I'll, I'll get like that. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Okay. <coughs> The, the 14 page script that I sent you, I'll, <clears throat> I'll, I'll, I'll say most of that. Yeah. And there might be extra bits that I don't, that I say that aren't on there. Yeah. <clears throat> and you'll have to probably, well, I how many people are going to understand um, English, like when I talk? I'm not sure, actually. Because, Tata Wen is a da ga hui, ji ga ren hui. 就是聽得懂他講英文聽得懂嗯剛剛這一張在線是大概一百五到一百九啊如果聽得懂的話他大概一半一半一半一半一半一半一半一半一半一半一半一半一半一半一半一半一半一半一半一半一半一半一半一半
，所以你坐在柜台的时候，有，有，对。哎，可是我刚刚没有。好，对。Our next keynote speaker is Dr. Ben Simpson. Dr. Simpson is a senior lecturer at the Leeds Arts University. He teaches animation, and he is also the subject specialist for the master's degree graphic novel and illustration program. Let's welcome Dr. Ben Simpson. Begin. So. Oh, begin, yeah. Hello. Welcome to uh, to England. Um, sunny, dull, raining. Hello, 大家好 Welcome to England. I would have liked to have been there with you, um, wherever you are. I think you're all in various different places. But obviously, COVID nineteen said no. I So I'm going to talk to you today, or this morning, about what it takes, what it takes to sort of enter the animation industry, even if you're coming from a. Traditional background, or a traditional background, or a digital background. Because there's many, many different options open to you now. And um, I believe I've already been introduced, but just in case you missed that bit, um, my name's Ben or Doctor Simpo. 
excuse me, a bit of a cough. And I went to the Royal College of Art in London. You may or may not have heard of it. And that's where I did an MA in animation. But when I studied animation, we were still making stuff on film. So film cameras, like a... Uh, like this. <clears throat> so we used to use film when I did my MA, which is a Master of Art. so making animation on something like this takes a very, 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 very long time. <clears throat> as all animation does. So all animation, um, I don't know how many of you out there are specifically animation orientated or wanting to do animation, but it does take a very long time. So be prepared to spend a very, very long time doing it. So, how did I begin my journey into animation or into the world of education and animation. Well, it started when I was young, much younger than you um, at home, but I was always interested in comic books or uh, manga, you may know it more as manga, but comic books, um, it's a very traditional, um, or the ones that I liked are very traditionally British. How? <laughs> 那你們可能就是想要知道我是怎麼開始的。那我就是怎麼開始進入這個動畫教育的這個方面。那我就是一開始很喜歡看漫畫,很喜歡看就是你們知道的漫畫,然後就是可是是英式的版本的漫畫。so, um, when I was a child in the 1980s and the 1990s, these are the kind of things that I was looking at. And um, most of these comic books or manga, um, they do not exist anymore. They have all psh, gone, gone. So the only one that's still in, in print is this one here, the Beano. So the Beano is the last one of all these comics um, so what do you get if you combine a diet of now predominantly defunct weekly British humour comics, including The Bean Over Dandy, Wizard and Chips, Buster Comics, adding a pinch of early morning and after school cartoons, such as Count Duckula, as we can see here, Trapdoor, Round the Bend, and add lashings of jam sandwiches. And what do you get? 好,就是這些你們可以看到的在PPT上面的,就是之前就是很有名的British漫畫,然後就是可是現到現在呢,就是還有一直在在製作的是這種那個The Vino, 
，他说就是那个全部结合都是他。So I'm where I am with my my pink wig. It's over there actually, but I'm wearing the beret today.、Um, I don't know if you're familiar with joke shops、um, in Taiwan,、uh, but there's a picture here of a joke shop in Scarborough, and Scarborough is a near seaside town to where I live, to to wet Huddersfield, and I took my children there at the weekend. Although we didn't go to the joke shop because it was、um, it was a bit busy. 好，我不知道，就是你们对这个 joke shops， 就是在照片里面可以看到的那个，就是我不知道你们会不会对它熟悉。就是我在那边里面，就是会买了一些漫画、啊、action figures 啊，这样子。So, um, these are the sort of things you get in a joke shop. 那些就是你可以找到在 joke shops 的东西。对吧 ？With this makes you itchy. <笑>那个他说可以让你就是身体会痒的。And and this makes your、uh, anti go. 啊！<笑>他说另外一个的话就是你可以吓你的阿姨，然后就你的阿姨就是会叫啊。<laughs> um, so I'm a product of my upbringing.、Um, so, so effectively, and, and you're probably aware of this yourselves, but things that you experience when you're a child, or when you're young, or in your informative years, often come back to you later in life. And、um, and we'll talk about this later at the very end of the talk. I'm going to talk about、uh, my children and the things that they are doing, which is influencing my artwork for the next stage. 好，他说就是从小到大，你所有经过的经验 experience， 就是你不知不觉，就是都会用到你等一下工作的时候，就是他们会突然就是在回来，然后就是可能会变成你们的 inspirations 这样子。所以，可是我最后等一下最后的时候，我会再跟你们讲我。Is that Big Ben going off? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. So this animation on the screen. Um. I don't know how many people have done walk cycles. Walk cycles are notoriously difficult, and we're going to talk a bit about walk cycles. And I'm using it as an analogy, really, as to. How to get into the animation industry, and、um, and this walk cycle, and if you were all in the room and I could actually see anybody, but all I can see is my、uh, the computer screen, I would I would ask people to put their hands up and ask me how many,、uh, or, or guess how many drawings is in this walk cycle. 好，就是你们看的这个是叫做 walk cycle， 就是走路的一个循环嘛。然后就是他说。做这个一个就已经很需要很多的时间来用。那如果他说，如果现在他是在跟你们当面讲话的话，他一定会问你们：你们觉得这个影片需要几张图画呢 ？Okay, so so in this walk cycle, there's four drawings. So you will notice that you never see. Like the line, the line of a leg. So you never see the line of a leg. So it's wearing like a sack or a cape. So you never see the legs cross over because they're going underneath. And and this was all drawn in felt tip pen.、Um, not particularly Karen de Ash.、Uh, other brands are available, but it was drawn in felt tip pen、uh, in a traditional way, and then filmed in a camera. But then it was coloured. Digitally, and it was animated, i.e., put onto a timeline digitally. So this is what I、um, class as traditional animation, because you're combining two elements, traditional and digital. 好，就是他说这这个影片就是需要四张的不同的图画。那如果你看仔细看的话，你没有看，你会看到就是他那个脚。
，就是只有有四个不同的形象，然后就是它这个是用一个。工一个 pen 叫做 feltic pen feltic 的一个钢笔这样子，然后就是他把这个循环是用相机来拍摄，然后就之后在数位填颜色，填色 ，yeah。Yes, um, but what what I like in animation or or the styles and aesthetics that I like are embodied within this. Animation, this this walk cycle. So, if I could just animate and draw anything in any particular style, I would draw it in this all the time. Now, this style is not a particularly well known or, or famous or,、um, or or well used style because this style kind of died、um, with the death of the British comic. 好，他说，这个 walk cycle 其实它是其中一个他最喜欢的一个动画技巧，可是他觉得就是这个没有很，就是没有很多人在用这个 method 这个技巧，那然后他就觉得，可能这个慢慢也是会一起跟英国的。But this is what really inspired me. This is the classic British comic humor style that was championed and almost singularly invented by two British comic book artists in the 1950s and 1960s. So we're talking about 70 years ago, which you know is quite a long time ago.、Um, Ken Reed is the name of one of the artists, and Leo Baxendale is the name of the other. Now, my knowledge of them only came to me in later life.、Um, I got the first-hand、um, inspiration as a child from the formidable Tom Patterson. 好，他说，其实就是他给他一个启发点的，就是。有两个作者 ，Ken Reed 跟 Leo b a x e n d e l 可是他其实最最初第一本看过的漫画书就是 Tom Patterson 的。可是，然后之后就是他长大后，就是他才之后才知道 Ken Reed 跟 Leo b a x e n d e l So, um, I, I think you can see the mouse, but. Here we have a picture of Tom Patterson tied up,、um, because Sweeney Toddler, which is the name of、um, of this baby toddler type character, has tied up the artist、um, who who drew him and has taken over and is inventing his own stories. Now, <coughs> Tom Tom Patterson, he still draws British comics. He, he draws for the Viz at the moment, which is a, an adult comic, but it's like an adult version of the Beano,、um, and it pays a lot better to draw the Viz than the Beano.、Uh, but we'll talk about that later. But as you can see, Tom Patterson on this side of the screen, the left-hand side, is heavily influenced by Willie the Kid or Leo Baxendale,、um, which was this style here, and. So there's about ten years apart between Tom Patterson drawing the Wizard and Chips cover and Leo Baxendale drawing the Willie the Kid annual. 好，就是你们看的，左边的是 Tom Patterson 的，然后右边是 Leo Baxendale 的。然后他这个 Leo Baxendale 的，他其实是比 Wizard and Chips。快了十年，就是先先这做好，所以就是 Tom Patterson， 他是因为 Willie the Kid 就是被启发的，对。So um Leo Baxendale, he he effectively was responsible for the introduction and invention of most of the kind of Well-loved British cartoon and comic book characters 
from the 1950s, 60s and 70s. Willie the Kid was the last um, foray or book he ever did. And he retired um, when he was five years older than me. So he'd done it all by the time um, he was 45, basically. Uh, and then he retired. So he, he worked very hard from 16 to 45, and then he just did gardening after that. Um. <laughs> How? Leo Baxendel, Tasu 等于就是16岁到45岁 So as you can see on this screen we've got Beano's going back to the 1950s We're a bit pixely actually um, Going back to the 1950s and 60s This one in the middle is a summer special In 1967 And then we've got ones from the 1980s and 90s When I was a child And most of these characters were originally designed and drawn by Baxendale. But Baxendale, and this is something that is important that you might want to think about, Baxendale never owned his characters. He was paid to invent the characters and then he had to sign away all of his rights to the characters. So he got paid, and which is a, an issue. You know, if you spend 25 years of your life working for somebody else, and then they own all your stuff. After you retire, it's difficult to make money out of the stuff that you made already. So be careful with who owns the copyright to your work. Okay. 他這個角色就是 another big fan. Yeah. <laughs> Does it go off every five minutes? <laughs> this is like a ten minutes break. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 繼續。就是他這個角色是來自 Leo Baxendel制作的 可是呢他在他25年就是工作的時段他這個這個角色的版權不是在他手上他是被他是被人家付錢然後就是叫你就是叫他畫這個角色可是這個角色不是他的 but nonetheless, a long term childhood pipe dream for me is to draw for the Beano because that is what I read as a child, and it's the only one left. So you know, like many things that inspire you as a child or as a young person, as to why you want to go and draw pictures or write stories or work in the sequential narrative, comic or animation based industries, sometimes you want to kind of tick it off your bucket list. So I kind of want to work for them, even though I know they don't pay very well. Huh. 他從小到大一直以來的一個夢想,就是他很想要就是畫圖給Vino這個漫畫,然後就是雖然就是他的配不高,可是就是他是他從小一直想要達到的夢想。Okay, so I I started drawing quite late myself. Um it, it's 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 funny, but the world moves on, and and 
I can only talk about how it is in, in the UK and, and in England particularly and Scotland because I've, I've lived and worked in both. But when I was at school, and I'm talking kind of six to 16, there was not many opportunities, not many creative opportunities. We did art class and we would draw a picture of a boot or a shoe or a sunflower, but we would not be allowed to use our imaginations or do anything different. 好,就是我 And, and although most of the work that I do now um, as an animation director or a writer or a creative, I use pen and paper. But the first real kind of cartoony, comic, sequential narrative book thing, I drew completely digitally, which is sort of funny, really. So uh, about 20 years ago, I drew this book called The Smell. I've got a copy of this. <laughs> But, but it was all drawn uh, using a, a very primitive version of a Wacom tablet or other pens that were available, drawn straight into Photoshop and coloured. Which, you know, is quite funny because I spend most of my time now trying to avoid staring at a computer screen and working um, with my hands. And I have other people that help me do the computer stuff. But to begin with, it, 20 years ago, um, when I was 18, I. I worked completely digitally. Ha,就是他现在虽然就是现在数位也是很发达嘛，这样子，可是他还比较喜欢用pen and paper 用笔跟就是画在纸上。那可是他这个。你们可以看到在左边的The Smell 是他第一个做的书 but I didn't really know anything about drawing because no one had ever really taught me about drawing. Um, I was more interested in trying to get an idea of this. And this is quite important as you, as you move forward. And, and whether you be a digital artist, whether you be a traditional artist, whether you be a, a drawer, sculptor or, or you work with three dimensions trying to get an idea across is paramount it is very important to get an idea across so on the courses that i teach on i teach about how to get an idea across or come up with ideas and explain something to someone else without them needing to have all this experience of drawing and 20 years of animation under their belt just the idea of being able to understand an idea from a simple drawing is really useful. 好,其實他 so, I wanted to get my ideas out there, I wanted to get my ideas across. I hadn't got any training. Um, I was studying on a fine art course, but we weren't really teaching us how to draw. It was more of an ideas course, which was great. Um, but I wanted to learn how to draw 
better. I wanted to, to teach myself um, how to get better at drawing so I could share my ideas easier for other people to understand and get my, my ideas across and get my point across. So my first foray into comics or sequential narrative art forms was from an underground perspective, which today we know this is independent comics or independent or new wave manga, I suppose. Um, and these, these three publications here, um, Comic Book 1 and 2 and Freak, um, this one's spelled differently, but there was one, two, three, four, and five issues of Freak, and this was the final one, was uh, publications that I made with a collective of people from the Glasgow School of Art. And it was really interesting for me, having always loved uh, manga and comics, um, to actually be the editor and put all this stuff together and attempt to kind of create my, uh, my own Beano, but for adults. Tajoki 版本的Vino,可是是比较是给大人的Vino这样子 So, um, and these were produced about 2002, so yeah, 19 years ago <coughs> 好,这个是19years ago,19年 Now, Underground Comics have been around since the 1960s um, Robert Crumb famously um, in take, took the idea of the psychedelic poster art movement in San Francisco and put it into comic book format so he could then sell them and pass them out and get ideas across to other people who, who had a similar mindset to him. And that was in 1967. And he was producing um, the comic called Zap with an exclamation mark. And I've got some over there on my shelves, but I'm not going to go and find them. But Zap, he lost the first issue of Zap. And when he found it, he had to um, he had to reissue it as issue zero, which is why it says issue zero on the front of this idiot comic. So my idea was, although I started making underground comics for students and for adults, I thought I've never seen an underground children's comic. So I thought, well, why not go and work in some schools and work with some children and young people and see what sort of stuff they'd like to see in a comic. So in 2003, I made this first um, ever children's underground comic in the UK. <laughs> students 可以給學生啊,也是可以給大人的。那我我也是可以做給就是沒有這這現在就是還沒有還沒有做給小孩子的。那我覺得我就做給小孩子的,然後就這個是我那時候做的一個漫畫。um, and this was a, an anthology again, so, so I was editing it and I was doing the front cover and quite a lot of his stories. I was working with other artists who were also um, doing a few stories and drawing pictures. And actually, I basically spent about the last 18 years doing these type of comics, where I've been going into schools or community groups or art centres and getting young people to put their ideas down in a format 
which we can then put together into a comic. And whether this be a high-end print um, comic, like some of them have been, or whether it be a photocopy or Xeroxed comic, but I've spent, like I say, basically the, the, the last 18 years, until March last year when we couldn't do this sort of thing, so I had to think of another way in order to interact and work with young people and let them get their ideas out.他有的是印出來的啊,然後有的是印印的啊,然後就是我一直做到去年的三月,因為就是三月就是英國開始有COVID,所以就是他現在要找一個新的方法要怎麼再可以繼續用。But my first solo comic, so instead of working um, as an editor and working as a team, um, with a Beanoology esque kind of essence to it, was Things and Stuff comics. So in 2004, which is 17 years ago, which makes me feel really old, <coughs> I started producing Things and Stuff comics. And the artwork in here, in the first issue, which I'm going to show you the original print proof which went to the printers, so the pagination is for print, it's not in the right order because you have to paginate stuff where you you marry up the pages so that when it's printed and folded it all works. But I've got the original um, scans that were taken to the printers. Now, when I started doing comics, um, there was not really any online comics. It was, it was mainly, you went and printed out your files, you bound them together out of printers, and you produced a book, a comic book. And, and these are some examples of um, the first, uh, some of the first seven issues of the comic book, which are produced one or two a year for the first six years, from 2004 to 2010. Oh, this Things and Stuff manhwa 跟其他人就是編輯啊就是有其他人幫忙我然後這個的話是我收樓的是我自己的一個漫畫書叫做Things and Stuff 然後是2004開始一直到2010年 然後就是我那時候就是印出來的時候它有時候它的順序就是它的順序 不是照順序的,所以就是我那時候就是印出來之後,我還要再自己去拍。然後那時候我做,開始做漫畫的時候,很少沒有沒有看到就是有在線上的comics,全部都是印出來的,offline的這種的,然後就是你們自己看到所看
by hand. So mine are done um, traditionally, so partially drawn by hand, partially coloured on my computer, and then laid out. But this blue cover is completely 100% done by hand, including all the lettering and all the gradients and all the shading. 然后就是其实你现在就是随时你什么时候都要上传你的作品你都可以而且是免费这样子所以就是其实如果你上传之后你就可以让全世界的人看你的作品那之前的话就不行你就是要到可能就是漫画节啊然后就是秀给人家然后
uh, Graham again. So Graham did this wonderful Dr. Simpo's Noshing Nashes cover here um, in the middle. So it smells very nice. Well. <laughs> it smells fresh, like print. It takes me back to my childhood. Yeah. But I was um I was also um, writing a course in graphic novels, so a Master of Arts in graphic novels. So as part of this publication, I wanted to promote the course. So I made this section a basic guide to visual storytelling, which for me um, helped to solidify some ideas that I've been thinking about and how to try and um, take what I've been teaching in the workshops for basically the last 16 years and consolidate them together into um, a, a giveaway or a, or a format, which is it's available online from the Leeds Arts University website as well. But a way in which I don't have to necessarily be in the room with the people or the young people or the children or the adults, um, showing them how to do it. They can look at the pages of the book and see um, what, I, what I'm talking about. 他有把，就是他，他也，他的，他也是有教graphic novels的课程，然后就是他觉得就是ideas就是要怎么要怎么去传达它，然后就是他已经教了大概十六年，然后就是其实就是因为现在就是没办法见面，所以他那个一小段的课就是。So it was a combination, you know, trying to do this was a combination of solidifying ideas for myself and and also to kind of get information out there to other people that might be interested in similar things but didn't quite know what we wanted to do. So this could be looking at people who are doing the A-levels or the 16 or at college and we're not quite sure but they could have a look at this and go actually I do want to do comics or create characters or design things. And as, as a result of social media, um, I got in touch with someone I followed in social media on Instagram who was freshly graduated from, from Dundee in Scotland, the home of Abino actually. And I got in touch with um, Bruce and I said, would you like to be involved in re-illustrating some of my characters into into a comic, which I had made an animation of previously, but it changed. So I'm, I'm always wanting to work with other people, because you can't always do everything by yourself. social media, Scotland. 刚毕业的一个animator 
Sorry, my alarm was going off. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> so I've already been awake for hours. Um, so in in this image that you can see on the screen, this is a combination of plasticine, um, like modelling clay that you use for animation. There's digital colouring. There's layering up. So it's a very traditional and traditional platform. All these different things have been mashed together, which you will see in my later animations that combining the traditional with the digital is often the way that I'm moving forward and, and trying to kind of impact with old fashioned technologies, but in a new social media and virtual world. 它其实使用了就是两个就是数位跟传统就是traditional and digital so, inspired my, by the success of my own underground comics, children underground comics, I started to submit samples to the Beano editor, John Anderson. So this is a, a picture of a Bash Street Kids. And this is uh, something I read as a child. This, this, these characters, these nine children and their uh, downtrodden and massively abused teacher, uh, were the brainchild of Leo Baxendale. So Leo Baxendale invented these in 1956 and it was called When the Bell Rings. And these characters are still drawn every week in the Beano. And there's only ever been two artists. So only ever two artists in nearly 70 years um, that have drawn these characters. Whereas Leo Baxendale and the present artist is called David Sutherland. And he has been drawing the, the characters, the Bash Street Kids, since 1962. So nearly 50 years. 60 years. Nearly 60 years. <laughs> so, this is the Bash, Bash Street Kids. This is the one who likes to read. This is the one who likes to read. This is the one who likes to read. And this is the one who likes to read. 就是大概一九五六年就是开始用然后就是每个礼拜就是都会制作一张呃不是制作一本然后就是从就是从一开始到现在他们只有有两个创作者而已然后就是现在的话一呃第一个是叫做 so these are, um, this is my submission of the Bash Street Kids. So me drawing Leo Baxendale via David Sutherland's characters. So I wrote the story and I drew this as a sample. Now, I can't see David Sutherland retiring, um, so it's probably all in vain. But I, but I just love these characters, so I so I wanted to send in a sample of, of my characters um, for the Beano editor, and I did find out that David Sutherland wasn't very well during uh, COVID because he's about 87 years old. So I'm drawing this picture and sent it sent it to him um, via social media and and the editor. 好,就是剛剛上一個,就是他是為Backstreet
And this is quite a, an important thing, if anyone is making notes, to make a note of. If you are, um, if you really, really want to work with or for something that you aspire towards, whether it be Pixar, Disney, uh, Pokemon, whatever, um, if you can find out the people that you need to talk to, i.e. the person in charge, or the editor, or the director, or the producer, or the head of the company, then that is a really good stepping stone in order to get towards realising your dreams or breaking into the industry. And it often helps to keep on trying. So you have to try and try and try. And this is your first lesson, really, in trying to break into any industry, especially the creative field. You just need to keep trying and trying and trying and trying, but not pestering. So there's a fine line between annoying and pestering and being keen. And you just have to kind of find that balance. So you give them a gentle nudge. You do not pester. Pokemon啊，好可梦，就是如果你们就是有认识，还是你们可以找出，就是里面已经在里面的人，然后就跟他们讲，然后就跟他们讲话，然后就是跟他们沟通啊，就是那个会有给你们很大的机会，就是。就
at, at the moment, though, I'm, I'm in um, email conversations with with Beano Studios to hopefully try and animate Calamity James and produce little short animations of the character. 好,這個是Calamity Leslie 那回到这个Calamity James的话 就是他现在有在跟Vino公司就是email然后就是他想要做这个变成动画 So, but how did this come about? Because obviously, as I've said before, I've always wanted to draw or work with the Vino and, and it's not dead, sir, it might never happen but this came about um, mainly due to um, a chance meeting with someone that used to draw a character for Rubino um, when I was at a comic convention. And the character um, that used to be in Rubino for about 10 years, who is no longer in Rubino anymore, and that's because the creator, Gary Norfield, who created Derek the Sheep, he kept his copyright. So unlike Baxendale and Tom Patterson, back in the day, you know, 30 years ago, 50 years ago, 70 years ago, they didn't keep their copyright. But Gary Norfield, a friend of mine, he kept a copyright for Derek the Sheep, which means he owns Derek the Sheep, not the Beano. Norfield，然后这个Gary 创作者的话，就是他们没有把版权，就是放在他们的手上。啊，如果Gary的话，就是Derek的ship是在他手上，可是Bino不是在他手上。So although Gary he draws with a dip pen, which is basically a pen that you dip in ink in a pot of ink, and a bit like a brush. And we're all in the room, but you dip it in ink and then you draw. So trying to take his very old fashioned dip pen style of animation or drawing and make it digitally was our first challenge. So we had to, we drew all of this in TV paint, which is a great um, intuitive program where you can animate directly using a Cintiq or a Wacom or similar products are available. But we had to take his uh, pen and ink drawings and turn them into a digital format. These are his pen and ink drawings taken from the pages of the Beano. Gary 他们要把动画就是先用这个panel用到数位 yeah, so, we, so we took the drawings from, from these pages of the comic and turned that scene into this um, digital animation so completely digital, no uh, traditional techniques in it all drawn on the computer 
，所以从刚刚漫画，然后用到这个现在的 comic， 呃呃不是，从 comic 用到 animation， 所以漫画到动画，然后全部都是在电脑上用的。And there's more examples here of his original drawings and how we conveyed them or reimagined them. Now we didn't just、uh, we didn't just attempt to reimagine and, and kind of go straight for straight as to what he did in the comics. We tried to add another element to make it more cinematic, to make it more acceptable on a, on, a, on a larger scale, and we wanted to combine different.、Um, Different mediums, so we we ended up putting some plasticine in, so traditional and traditional coming back together again, and we had zero budget. We made this the zero money, no money. We did it as a project to hopefully、uh, raise awareness about our new animation studio, and I was working on this project with five of my animation graduates from last year. 好，这是他们。这个 directorship， 那他们就在重新呃，不是不是不是单单的重新想象，所以他们就是还有加了一些他们自己的，他们自己想到的 elements， 然后就是由 plastic 就是蜡烛来用的，然后就是，然后他们做这个是都没有花一笔钱，一笔钱都没有花，然后他们。目的是想要推广他们现在新的一个 animation studio. And we entered it to lots of festivals to get our, our name out there and to promote what we could do. And we started winning some awards, which was good.、Um, and then we won some more awards, and we got selected to enter other festivals, and we won some more awards. And some more, and some more, <laughs> and some more. <laughs> 好，就是嗯，刚刚就是他给我们看的，就是这个刚刚他们做的 directorship， 就是已经已经可以就是进进去了很多电影节，然后也是有赢了很多的奖奖奖奖奖项，所以一直。And we won an award most recently for best mixed media, so combining traditional and traditional all together with 3D and 2D, and which was nice to win this award. And as you can see, these are the、um, festivals we've been in, the awards we've won so far. And without further delay, I'd like to、um, to let the sheep out of the pen. And to、um, play you the video of Derek the Sheep. 好，现在就是他要播一下 Derek the Sheep 的影片。
I love grass me. I love grass me. Yes, I can't get enough of my grass. It's all green and lovely. But sometimes, though, it gets stuck in my teeth. But that's all right. I don't mind. Are you daring? What else? Look, more grass. Ooh. I'll have some of that. Where's this grass then? Across the river. Sure do look beautiful. Come on then, let's swim across. No, Derek, wait. That's exactly what Daphne did. Look in the river. No! Daphne! That's terrible. She was lovely. Hmm. Oh, we're going to get across to eat that. Beautiful grass now. Yoo-hoo, girls! Look, there's a bridge across the river. The grass is all ours. Daisy, get down! That bridge is guarded. <gasps> by a fire-breathing troll. We ain't never gonna get that grass. Make no mistake. But... Come on, Derek. There's plenty of grass in our field. I know. I know. But I just won't stop thinking about how lovely that other grass looks. Hmm. Oh, well. No point in sulking. Hey, watch it! You stupid lamb chop. Watch where you're putting your hoof! Oh, you buzz off, Bee! You dare call me a beast? I'm a flaming wasp! Flaming! I'll give you a bee! Look at me! I'm on the other side of the river! D Derek? Run, Derek! Run! Oh my god, Derek! What? What? What is it? Quick! 
behind you. Yeah, monkey beef burgers. Yeah, they can keep their rotten, cowpat flavoured turf. We've got plenty of our own lovely grass over here. Come on, let's duck in. <laughs> Flipping heck, I've only gone and eaten a blooming worm. Oh, that was an absolute model. What a mess! I just saw the beat. My Uncle Albert's live on screen. The animation on that segment was quite good. You know, the voice... Audrey was also too bad either. Very good voice tone from this player. The music also very nice. You know, I actually quite like that. I'd like to see this picked up for a television series, perhaps. So there we go. I'm no longer presenting. <laughs> just, <clears throat> just a minute, let me uh, present again. So. Oh. I don't know where you've gone. Can't even see where you are. Oh, you're there. Okay. <laughs> I'll present again. Okay. Resume presenting. Okay. Can you see the Derek the sheep again? Play video one. Yes. Cool. Okay. So that that was our. Um, our first foray into working as a studio together as a collective for zero budget so we just pulled in some favors and it's actually going to be in the creative film awards finals in los angeles which is quite cool So going back to the title of the talk, Tradigitally Traditional, Can You Fly Before You Can Walk? Well, the answer is yes and no. Yes, in 2D animation, flying is easy. Walking is hard. Or working out the mechanics of walking is hard. So this is a very stiff and mechanical walk cycle, um, which is kind of the working out the, the bare bones of a walk cycle, just a generic one, before you actually add any life or detail to it. So this is the topic of today's report. 你還沒有,你還不會走路的時候,你可不可以已經會飛了,然後他,the answer就是答案就是可以跟不可以,啊可以的話,在2D,在2D的話,就是飛是比較,是比走路,easy,可是如果3D stop motion的話,兩個都是,要飛跟走路,兩個都是很難。So a walk cycle is a technical challenge. You can achieve this in a multitude of different ways, like the same way as breaking into the animation industry is a technical challenge. It is difficult, but doors will open for you if you keep on pursuing them. And the only way to really pursue them and to get your foot in the door after education or whilst you're still in education and looking towards whether you're an academic or whether you are a student you should still be looking you know months in advance if not years what's going to be the next big thing what's the next project how are you going to let that door open a bit and then sneak your foot in to break into that industry 
说这个 work cycle 就是很难，可是也是一样，也是跟我们要怎么进去这个产业也是一样难。就是你要如何，就是现在你们不管是已经毕业啦，还是就是你们现在还在学的，就是你们要怎么计划你。之后要怎么找工作啊？你之后要怎么进去这个产业？然后就是要一直在跟踪，就是之后会有什么大的 project， 就是你们可能就是怎么会就是跟着他们一起做那个 project 这样子。So you can knock on the doors of opportunity, or you can make it happen for yourself. So one way of of making things happen for yourself, or trying to break into the industry, is by attending events like this, networking events, attending visiting professional talks,、um, going to film festivals. Now, this year has been a bit weird,、uh, as we all know, and going to a film festival doesn't happen in the same way it normally does. You don't go to a film festival; you upload your stuff and it's shown virtually, which spoils to a certain extent. Your networking opportunities, because actually, most of those opportunities, like with me and Gary meeting and talking about doing dough with sheep, happened in real life in、um, a social environment rather than a virtual environment. But a good place to begin is by getting your film set up on Film Freeway or a similar platform where you can promote your film and yourself, and allow you to send it to festivals. Um, on mass, so as you can see from here,、um, there's 42 undecided festivals.、Um, 31, it's not been selected to. It's been five awards. It's been selected in, to 11 festivals so far. So you have to spread your wings a long way. You have to go all of these festivals, and then if you're lucky, you get into a quarter of them. 好，就是他说这个。机会的门啊，你要就是 knock， 你要敲它，你要敲它，它才会开给你啊，你才可以进去。那这个机会你会怎么找到的呢？就是你会就是好像参加了，好像今天的这个活动啊，然后就是社交活动啊，还是就是电影的电影节这样子。然后你在那边就是会遇到不同的人，然后你们就。可以增加你们的人脉，然后就是还是好像这个 Freeway Freeway 是一个网站，然后就是可以让你投稿，然后投你的影片上去，然后就是你可以投到 Film Festival， 就是音乐节，呃不，呃电影节，对，然后然后就是你一定就是要做，你你一定要自己找到你自己的。So you, you never know what opportunities may come back to you from getting your work out there. But my advice is, as you're beginning, or even 20 years in, like me, just keep trying, keep plugging away, keep trying to refine your skills. Like this animation where you're taking those bare bones and you're fleshing them out into a character. Keep trying to refine. Your network,、um, and a lot of people or employers in the animation industry, and these are some of the four biggest ones in the UK: Luzu, Golden Wolf, Jellyfish, and Ardman. And I've spoken with all of them. I've taken the students around the studios, and actually, they all say similar things. It doesn't necessarily matter what software you use, or how good you are、um, at very specific softwares. It's more about a general understanding of the principles of animation. And the ideas and the mechanics, they will often teach you the softwares that they want you to use at their company. 好，其实他说你不知，我们我们会，我们不知道，就是哪一些机会，就是你们可能就是现在，你们你们现在就是上传你们的影片，然后可能就是现在是没有效果的，可是。我们不知道，可能五年之后啊，十年之后啊，就是它会有用的，会有开给你
很多的机会，所以就是好像他已经二十年了，一直在 try 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 try， 就是不断不不断的继续，然后就是好像刚刚他有给我们看，就是有四大 animation 的公司，然后就全部他们都说，就是不管你们多厉害，还是他们不管你们可以用什么软体，可是就是他们注重的是在你们的理论。So whether your skills be in storytelling, shot selection, the sustained suspension of disbelief, and your understanding of the twelve principles of animation, this can be applied to many, many different areas within the animation industry. And um, I hope a lot of you know about this book. But the illusion of life is where the first um, time the twelve principles was laid down. By two of Disney's nine old veterans,、um, Frank Thomas and Ollie Johnston. 好，刚刚他那一本书就是 Disney 的，就是 The Illusion of Life， 然后是第一次 Twelve Principles， 就是他们传达给就是全世界，然后就是对。Um, and as you know. Um, you must know and understand the twelve principles, and they are very important to help you sneak, like this pair of scissors, into the animation industry.、Um, you need to understand them, you need to own them, you need to know them, to their maximum potential, so that you can break the rules and you can make it work for you. 好，这个十二个 principles， 这个十二个点，就是你。一定要很会了解它，就是你一定要可以做得到。这样子的话，你他会就是帮你踏入到这个产业里面，就是可以到这个动画的 industry 里面。And that book, the Twelve Principles of the Illusion of Life, is very long, so I decided to simplify it. And、um, and take the core bits out of it and make it accessible and handy to younger people or people that just want to have a go for themselves at home. And this is a, a book that I produced. And actually,、um, Dr. Cindy Cheng did a section in this book. 好，就是因为刚刚那个 Disney 刚刚 Disney 版本的，就是蛮长的，所以他就做了。这个这是他做的版本，就是比较缩短的。然后就是我们的心理圣教授，他也是有帮忙，就是做这个英文的版本。So,、uh, what I was the aim of this book was to spread knowledge and spread learning, and this is where it all kind of ties together.、Um, and before I play the final video,、um, which we'll be playing in a minute.、Um, Which you will see this call out that I made to people at home. So during lockdown, when I couldn't go out and do the workshops, I couldn't do the comic workshops or the animation workshops. I couldn't take this book out into the world and help to disseminate and and teach people about it. So I had to do it online, and、um, and I will will play this final video、um, before the the end of the talk just now. And this is the video I'd like to play, and this is showing how social media. And, and and kind of to digital and digital technology can combine together in order to get teaching out there and make awareness to others about the principles of animation. So he just put the animation principles to make this video. So we can see this video. I am Dr. Simpo. I do do a lot. If you're stuck at home. You've got nothing to do. You're feeling a bit skint and a bit tight round the pockets. What's the perfect thing you can do? Animation. You can make something funny, daft, wild, wacky. Make something that's under 60 seconds and send it to drsimpo at hotmail.co.uk and win some big cash prizes. Yes,、yeah. big cash prizes. That's right. You can win. Money, and I'm talking about that stuff you have in your hand, all that stuff on a card. We go beep like that. So tune in 
every Wednesday, half past six, on Dr. Simpo's YouTube channel, Dr. Simpo's Animated Antidote. Thank you very much.
stop it there, everyone. And that is the end of the talk. Cheers, Sula! <laughs> and in the, in the words of the great, late, great Chuck Jones, that's all, folks. That's all, folks. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. So, thank you very much, Mr. Thank Ben. You. Have a good rest of the uh, conference. <laughs> That's all for our keynote speeches. Please don't miss our oral presentations. We have over 50 virtual oral presentations on our speeches. Please don't miss our oral presentations. We have over 50 virtual oral presentations on our conference YouTube playlist. You may watch these excellent oral presentations online. Thank you for joining us in this virtual conference. We'll see you next year. Thank you.